Dave here at Russo's RV Center in Lakeville, Massachusetts. Today we're looking at the 2024 19 FD Geo Pro. But this is not just any 19 FD Geo Pro. This Geo Pro is ordered with the power package. The power package allows you to truly go off the grid in a Geo Pro. You can run every single thing in this unit off this lithium battery. Well, I shouldn't say every single thing. There's one exception which we will get to in the video, but you can run the AC, the outlets, the microwave, the television, all the lights, everything in this unit you can run off the power package. And we're gonna get into some details in a little bit. I wanna thank Glenn from Maryland. Glenn ordered this unit and he encouraged us to uh, take a video because Glenn is in Maryland and he's gonna be driving up next week to pick this up. So he wants to check it out. What better way to check it out? So I wanna thank Glenn for giving us the opportunity to check out this power package and so that you can also get a chance to check out this power package. And we're also gonna be talking about the 19FD and why at least at our dealership, it's the number one selling Geo Pro for the last three years. This 2024 19 FD Geo Pro comes with the Murphy bed. It is 20 feet two inches from the tip of the hitch to the back wall of the camper. With the power package, it's gonna add some extra weight to this unit. So on this particular unit with the power package, Dry weight came at 3,635 pounds. That's a few hundred pounds more than what you'd normally get on a 19 FDG. You have a lithium battery, 400 amp hour, 3,000 watt inverter slash charger, and three 200 watt solar panels. So that's gonna add a little bit of extra weight to the unit. One thing we noticed when we checked this unit in, uh, there's no battery box in the front because the battery, the lithium battery, and the charger are both located underneath the sofa where the Murphy bed is. So you see it goes across, and we'll take a better look inside when we look uh, and open the sofa. Battery disconnect, instead of being under the propane bottles like it is normally, is actually right inside the unit here. Easy, easy to reach. As on the other 2024 Geos, there are slam latches on all these compartments. Close it, latches very easily. Very easy to open, grab it, nice tab there to open it up. Way easier than the old style on the 2023s and previously. And of course, magnet latches, magnet that hold them up. Slam latches close very easily. Underneath for storage of the sewer hose there is the plastic tube in front of that is the spare tire because there's no bumper rockwood puts the spare tire underneath tires are going to come with the tpms tire pressure monitoring system and nitro filled from the factory freshwater tank fill just above that tire 30 amp plug will go right there and then gray and black tank valves easy to access the new Lippert stabilizers. Still waiting some, for some good customer feedback on this. Uh, jury's still out. We'll see how it goes, but we are optimistic. Oh, this is fun. Power package sticker. So Rockwood actually puts this on both sides of the camper. Just to remind you, yes, this is the power package with the master volt lithium ion battery. You can see up here we have one solar panel on the other side they put the other two again with the three 200 watt solar panels on the roof receiver rated for 300 pounds for a bike carrier or anything you want to slide into there ladder standard 250 pound weight rating instead of the outside shower this is going to be a spray port comes with a hose there is a shower setting on the hose, but you also have a bunch of other settings, just like a regular garden hose. Water, city water, um, black tank flush, and antifreeze, and then the cable satellite hookups there. So 
So on the outside, you get the three solar panels. That's what it really tells you. And the stickers, of course, to tell you that we have a power package, but everything else is gonna be the same as in the other 19 FDs, at least on the outside. Get a decent storage space there. So I had mentioned earlier in the video, there's one thing that won't run off of this power package. Technically, technically you'll, yeah. So it's a gas electric water heater. It's designed to run on gas if you're not plugged in. It's actually not able to run on the electric setting off the power package, but the gas, that's why you have the gas. If you want to run it off the grid, you run it on gas. It actually gets hotter faster anyway off the gas. So as the only thing, everything else in this unit will run, including the air conditioner just off that battery. Other side of the storage. So with the with the large battery and an inverter, you do lose um, you know, a good chunk of that storage space in there. You get a little bit up front, more on the other side. Sofa. But you do get plenty of storage inside and then you have some outside storage as well. All right, let's get inside and talk about this unit. Rockwood installs the lithium battery and the inverter underneath the sofa. You can see they protect it with the panels around the perimeter. But you can kind of get a glimpse in here of how big this battery and, and charger are. This is a heavy duty setup. And a lot of times I've gotten over the last few years questions about this power package. The thing most people are most interested in is how long can I run the air conditioner off this power package? Now this AC, according to Rockwood, at the very least, they're expecting off a full charge from the battery, you'll get four hours. That's if it's, I don't know, high humidity, 95 degrees, cranking like 70% of the time. Um, Cause ACs, they, they go, they shut off, they go, they shut up. But on the other end of that, with the better conditions, and I'm sorry, I can't be more specific cause they can't be more specific. Basically your high end there is gonna be nine hours. So four to nine hours is gonna vary depending on the humidity and the heat. Are you in the sun? Are you in the shade? A lot of things to consider there, but um, connected to that, I wanna mention that with the power package, you also get these two additional controller screens. The one on the left is just for the battery. It's gonna tell you the power level, how much is being used in the camper currently. Uh, it's not loaded right now, but there is also a timer to tell you, based on the current usage, how much time do you have left on the battery? I think that's awesome. That's an awesome feature. On the right are the inverter controls. So earlier I tested actually the microwave is not on because there's no power to it. So I turned the inverter on and I heard the beep microwave clicks on. So now you can run run the microwave. Glenn actually got this unit with the convection microwave, which, um, so we got the convection in addition to the oven. That's something you'd have to request. This isn't just gonna come that way. It's usually gonna come with just a regular microwave, but Glenn wanted the convection. For a little bit extra money, you can get it. So one of my favorite things about this camper is that you do get a dinette and a sofa when the bed is up. The only way to get that in a unit this size without a slide is with the Murphy bed. And I love this dinette because it is probably the most stable dinette I've ever experienced in an RV because it's got the two brackets on the wall and the um, pole coming down. Very easy to set up. It's very lightweight. So if you need to turn it into a bed, it's really easy to do. I just love it. It's great. Two people sit there. Two more people can sit on the sofa. And the sofa does have the footrests that come up and a center console. So yep, footrests and two cup holders right across from the television. And that is a 32 inch 12 volt smart TV that you're gonna find in every Geo Pro that has a TV. The 12S small Geo does not. I just wanted to make that clear, but uh, all the other Geos do have televisions. Or you can just sit at the dinette if you wanna get closer, if you wanna get a closer view of the TV. So not every Geo has this feature, but I really like it when it does. The 12 volt fridge, you can turn, there's a master on and off switch right on the side for the fridge. The reason I like that is because it's just easy 
uh, and you can't like make a mistake. Just like in all the other geos with solar, which is literally every geo, we have um, the solar controller. This is also gonna be showing you how much power is being generated by the solar panels. Um, it's already set from the factory to lithium because of the lithium power package setup. But just another way to keep track of your battery power and keep track of how much solar uh, power is, is being generated. In this 19FD, you do get a, a little bit of extra counter space with the countertop extension. Something you don't get in the FDS with the slide, but you do get in this FD without the slide. 2024, they kept the large square sink. In this model, there is a gas oven, but just um, keep an eye on that if you're looking at comparing different models. Some have the gas oven, some just have a convection microwave. Uh, when they do have a gas oven, They'll come standard with a regular microwave and they don't list the convection as an option in that case. So uh, if you're talking to a dealer, they might initially say, no, that's not an option uh, for convection, but talk to them. They, they can talk to the rep like I did and, and they should be able to get you if you want the oven and the convection. Three burner cooktop. So really this is much the same as it was in the previous years. And of course the bottle opener, all the geos since the beginning have had that. 4.5 cubic 12 volt fridge with the glass black front freezer and refrigerator controls go from zero to seven so not only do you have the switch but you can control the temperature setting on that dial there bathroom is a good size especially for a camper this size you got a big shower it's not a corner shower it's actually that larger shower that you see on a few of the Geo models. Bathroom has some decent counter space. Cabinet with storage above it and the regular medicine cabinet. Skylight for the tall folks and max air fan standard with the cover. So if it's raining out, you can still run that, circulate the air in here. And just like everything else, runs off the battery. Just above the, the sink, there's a digital thermostat that controls the AC and the heat. Now we are in the middle of the parking lot. We are not plugged in right now, but just because we can, I'm going to turn the air conditioner on. So that AC is on and running, on and running. A little redundant, but <laughs> here we are. I am just amazed by this. So I just wanna show you what's going on over here with the controller. So you can see now with the AC running, the inverter on, um, it's it's telling us that at currently the way it is with all the lights on and with the fridge on and the AC running, we're gonna go about four hours and 40 minutes at this rate um, with this power, okay? So just to give you an idea of what, what you're looking at, but so much control like so much like the ability to just keep an eye on the system to keep an eye on um, you know what's going on how much power you have you're not going to be caught off guard here i love that i love that just as a test i decided to put the ac on low setting it was on high setting so it was right up around a thousand watts um earlier now it's dropped to about 940 950 and it was down to about four hours and 30 minutes and now it's right around 450 so it gives you a little bit more time so you can just see how like how accurate it is telling you how much power is being used and there's things you can do to like increase that longevity uh, run the ac for a little bit turn it off uh, you certainly don't have to run it all the time but pretty incredible that we have this murphy bed is 74 inches by 54 inches that's incorrect i'll correct it in the video but i believe that's right very easy to lift up and down it does have pistons to assist you and then it locks into place uh, when it's down all the way when it's time to put the bed back up you just gotta strap those sheets back on there so they don't drop down when you put the bed up and you just lift the bed up if you want to leave the bed down you certainly can and if you do leave the bed down you get a nice window letting a little extra light in and then the dinette cushions the table goes down the cushions go on top so you actually have another bed. Certainly a, a child, most adults could fit here. I think if you're 
over six feet, probably going to have some trouble. You probably have to go diagonal a little bit, maybe curl up your legs, but you could probably still fit there. So storage in this unit, much the same as previous year, 19 FDs, either side of the bed, you do have um, wardrobe space. You can hang clothes on either side of that. As mentioned earlier, the battery and the uh, inverter do take up a good amount of space underneath the sofa, but you do still have some space there in front and certainly a good chunk on the side there for storage space. Above the kitchen counter and the sink, two cabinets that opened up into one area. A spot for your sponges and soap. All three drawers do open up the same amount as the bottom, but I just wanted to show you all three. And then under the oven, that open space. Above the dinette, there's four cabinets that open up, but it is one long area. Medicine cabinet, of course. And then over the bathroom sink, you get some additional storage with two shelves. Normally in the video, this would be the point where I would start showing you what it's like with the slide room in, but there's no slide on a 19 FD. So certainly you can access the bathroom, um, get to the bed, you can do everything. So not only can you get everywhere, you can do everything because you now with the power package as an option, you can use anything on this RV. So once again, I want to thank Glenn. Glenn is pretty pumped. He'll be coming next week uh, <laughs> to pick up this camper. I can't wait. And uh, also say hi to Bob in Florida who just so happened to, to call earlier in the week and wanted to see a power package on one of the videos. Well, that worked out pretty great, I would say. So this 19FD is sold to Glenn, but you can order one of your own. We're also going to be getting a, a regular 19FD, no power package, um, probably in the next week or two. So keep checking our website, um, put my contact information in all the videos if you have any questions. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.